Welcome to our exam hints video on balancing symbol equations for the higher tier. So what we've got here then is an example symbol equation question that you could be asked about on a higher tier paper. So the LPG fraction contains propane gas C3H8. Write a balanced symbol equation for the incomplete combustion of propane in oxygen O2. Only carbon monoxide, CO and water are made. So first thing to notice is that you are expected to know the formula for water in this case. So if we go through and identify what formulas we've actually been given, we've got propane gas at the top, C3H8, we've got our oxygen, we've got carbon monoxide, and we obviously need to then work out water. So the first thing we're gonna do then is to write our equation on that first line. So we know from the question up here that propane gas, which is C3H8, is going to react with our oxygen, O2. And then we're going to make carbon monoxide, which is CO, and water, which hopefully you remember is H2O. One thing to note is where we're actually going to put these numbers. So because they're all relating to the number of each of those atoms present within the compound, you make sure they go in the subscript position, so the bottom right position you will be allowed minor errors but it's always best to actually get it right the first time particularly when you're literally copying it from the line above onto your line below so once we've actually got that written in then we actually get one mark out of our two just for having the correct formulas next thing to do then is balance this now one thing to remember is the only place that we can actually write numbers are in the positions in front of the whole formula so on those lines that's the only place we can actually write a number otherwise we're changing the whole chemical formula which we can't do now the way I always teach my groups to do it is to divide it at the arrow then count up how many of each atom are present so in this one we've only got carbon hydrogen and oxygen on the left hand side we've got three carbons eight hydrogens and two oxygens and on the right we've got one carbon two oxygens, don't forget to check for obviously more than one location for any of the particular atoms you're looking at, and two hydrogens. So just by looking across there we can see that the only thing that actually appears to be balanced that time is the oxygen. So the easiest thing is to have a look and see which one we can start with first of all. So we've got carbon with one on the right and three on the left. So the easiest thing to do is in front of our carbon monoxide put the number three. Then you recount. So we've now got three carbons there, and then we've got three oxygens plus that one there. So we have four oxygens on the right. Next one we can look at is our hydrogens. On the right we've got two, the left we've got eight. So put a four in front of it here. Four times two gives us eight. Four times one is four plus three gives us seven oxygens. Then we need to have a look at the left hand side. Carbons are fine, hydrogens are fine, it's only oxygen that's out. And if you do seven divided by two, gives you three and a half. So you just put three and a half in front of the oxygen. And you are allowed fractions here. So if you do have one, you're thinking, well, that goes in literally three and a half times, but I can't have a fraction. You're wrong, you can use fractions. So as soon as you've got that in, what we'll find is three and a half on that side it gives us our seven oxygens which means that we've then got three carbons each side eight hydrogens each side and seven oxygens each side and that gets us our two marks